OK, let's look at this simple statement. Sketch that uh, graph. Now, the word sketch um, is important to understand what sketch really means. Um, a lot of people just think that it's any old rough diagram uh, that looks about right. Well, I think that's a little bit a part of the story, but it, much more is involved in it th than that. Now, if we just for a moment look at what we've got here, we've got uh, a quadratic function. And, of course, we all know that a quadratic function is something like this. And I might have got that in completely the wrong place, but it's, it's that sort of shape. It's quite surprising, actually, although we probably uh, learn the name of this quite early on in our uh, mathematical studies. We all know that it's called a parabola. But the true shape of a parabola is actually quite difficult to convey. And if you actually try and plot that accurately, it, it just doesn't quite look like that. And we, we use a bit of artistic license to make it look this nice, this nice shape. And what's going on down here is uh, a, little bit, uh, a little bit hidden, a little bit mysterious in a way. So what is a sketch in terms of an exam situation really after? Well, the shape's got to be roughly right. It's got to be in the right sort of place. But usually, you will be asked to specifically find those points there. You will certainly want to find that point there. You may be asked to find the lowest point, or if it's that way round, you may be asked to find the highest point. And another commonly uh, required uh, thing is the line of symmetry. So sketch then, we'll try and think of it like this. So we want the points of intersection with the axes, we want, we'd love to know where the middle is, the symmetry line, and we'd like to know the lowest or the highest point. Now, in a previous video, we looked at completing the square. And again, our function here is the first stage of quadratics because it really has a 1 in front of the x squared. OK, so we're still not going to take that final step. We're going to keep x squared with a coefficient of 1. So I'm going to show you how the completing the square technique does all of this in one go. That's why it's such a clever technique. So first of all, then, we complete the square. So remember what we have to do? You halve this number of x's. So negative 4 halved is negative 2. The negative 2 is still there. You then square that number. Square negative 2 is plus 4. And you subtract that again because we don't want it there. We've introduced it. We want to get rid of it again. So when we complete the square, we end up with x minus 2 squared take away 6. Now, there's a lot of information in here already. Anything squared is positive. So however hard I try here, I'll end up with a positive number, take away 6. So the smallest I can make that is 0. And so this will always be greater than negative 6. And it will equal negative 6 when x is 2. So the point when x is 2, y is negative 6, is the lowest point on the graph. So if I'm starting to sketch my graph, 2, negative 6, somewhere down here, is the lowest point. This point here, well, that's nice and easy, isn't it? What do you know about that point there? Well, of course, at this point here, x is 0. And if I put x equal to 0, 
in my equation here, y will be negative 2. And so I will get a point there. Now already you can see that my sketch over here well, isn't quite right, is it's not in the right place because there's the lowest point and it's got to go here. So whatever else happens, try and do this the best we can, it's going to be something like that. So I now need to locate these points here. What do we know about those points there? We know that y is 0. This line, the x-axis, y is 0. So if I go to this version, now again this is where it all becomes clear why we need this. It's so nice the way it works out. So if I put this equal to 0, x minus 2 squared take 6 equals 0. So x take 2 squared is 6. Take the square root and I get, must remember the plus and minus. Add 2 to both sides, x is 2 plus or minus root 6. OK, so I've now got my two points. So that one is 2 plus root 6 and this one is 2 minus root 6. And finally, where is the symmetry line? Well, clearly it goes through the lowest point. So the symmetry line is x equals 2. And you can see that you get the symmetry line straight away by looking at the completing the square. So a very tiny amount of work completing the square. And this will come up over and over again. And it beautifully does this sketch for us. It picks out all of the points that we want to know. And it's pretty painless. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.